Hey everybody, I need to put everything else that I'm doing on hold because we have a 3D printing emergency and it is time to figure out whether we need to freak out or chill out. Have you guys seen this article on Gizmodo about the 3D printing particulates and how they're going to kill you? Is there any relevancy to this? Is, is this really a thing that we need to worry about now first of all this article if if you are into 3d printing you want to ignore this article you want to minimize this article you want to give people reasons to dismiss it and quite frankly there's a lot of reasons to dismiss it i mean first of all cooking bacon makes you know, micro particulates about the same size. So why should that be a worry? And the people who did this study, Taylor and Francis, they are uh, pretty shady, quite frankly. But, you know, the micro particulates in bacon are organic. And we're talking about inorganic micro particulates. And the truth of the matter is, this article isn't wrong. We don't know what inorganic microparticulants do when they're absorbed into our body and bond with the molecules of our body. Quite frankly, that's an area of science that we haven't explored. And if you are into fear-mongering clickbait media, yeah, it's in your interest to, you know, work this up and say, we don't know what it means, so it could mean that it kills you. It could also mean that after long-term exposure, it might give you mutant powers like laser eyes. I don't know. I mean, we don't know what it could mean. I'm not trying to minimize this because I don't want to be the guy who's like, asbestos, come on. I've been eating a handful of that for breakfast every morning. If there is a real threat here, I want to be the one who tells you guys that there is a real threat here. But the truth is, we don't know. Now, I've done a little bit more digging, and the CDC has done a study about microparticulates from 3D printing. And I kind of trust this study a little bit more. And what they say in this study is that, first of all, these microparticulates, yes, they do exist, but they dissipate quickly. Yeah, not dissipate. Actually, what they do is they condense quickly. So, Unless you are huffing directly at your 3D printer's nozzle, chances are you're fine because after 5 or 10 feet in an open ventilated room, they condense to bigger, heavier particulates, and those don't have any effect on us near as we can tell. So the the I guess the biggest safety point, and this becomes the thing, if there is a problem, what can we and should we do about it. Should we get filters on our 3D printers and be filtering the air out? These particulates are so small that if you get yourself one of those smoke filters that you have from uh, from soldering, it's not going to catch these particles. And even if you get a HIPAA filter, it's not going to catch these particles. They're too small. They will pass right. We need like a gas mask filter on that. And if you get a gas mask filter and put it with a negative airflow van, uh, fan away from your fan, that might be about the only thing that we could do. But I don't know. I'm still researching this. I'm still trying to figure this out. Basically, the best thing we can do is use your 3D printer in a well-ventilated room, something I have been saying for a long time. If you read my book, The Beginner's Guide to the 3D Printing Galaxy, I tell you, use your 3D printer in a well-ventilated area. That's like rule number one. Why? Well, at the time, it was because of fire danger. But now that we're worrying about microparticulates, this is doubly true. It's another reason to... Don't use your 3D printer in an enclosed space. Don't use your 3D printer next to your bed. I know some of you in college, that's the only room you got. I understand. But you're going to be huffing microparticulates, and we don't know what that'll do. And there's a chance it'll do nothing. Is it time to freak out about this? I don't think so. Let's chill out. Let's let the scientists do their job. Now, I have reached out to the Center for Disease Control. I've reached out to other people to see if I can get some more information. So there may be a follow-up video 
to this video in the future and if there is I, I will do my best to be the voice of honest reason on this one. If there's danger, I'll let you know. If there isn't, I'll let you know. Right now, we don't know, but the odds are, again, going with the CDC, going with what they say about this, there's probably nothing to worry about. This is, yeah, this is clickbait, fear-mongering media with some shady science behind it to to get you to click and to get you to talk about it and there's there's like this much truth in what they're saying that they've blown up to to be like 3d printing is going to put a gun to your head no we there's no reason to think that right now not yet and and the people who are doing the research are doing the research and i'm going to reach out to them and get a hold of them and we're going to find out if there's anything that you need to worry about but right now right now i would say don't do anything different than you've been doing other than if you know like like just do what i've been telling you to do use your 3d printer in an open area and for now i think let's chill out but if you feel different about it go ahead and post in the comments i'd love to get a discussion about this going i mean let's face it Everything we do is going to kill us at some point or another, whether it's eating bacon, eating vegetables, taking a walk, not taking a walk, breathing the air. It, it's not so much about what's going to kill you, I think. It's about what you do with the time that you have. And for me, I'm still going to keep 3D printing. I'm still going to make the world a better place. I'm still going to be running these 3D printers and doing amazing things with them because they are they are still capable of changing the world for good. And if in so doing I've shortened my life by 30 seconds, well I'm going to make those 30 seconds count for something. I'm not going to hide away in fear. I'm going to do something amazing and and that's what I recommend for you as well. Now if it does turn out that there is a legitimate risk to your safety, and if it turns out that there's some simple method that you can do to keep yourself safe, I will find out what that is, and I will let you know, because I care about you, and I want to make sure that you can still do cool things, because safety first, but then go out and do something cool with it, and I will do my best to keep you safe, because I like you. And I want to make sure that you're able to do cool stuff. So there we go. I'll let you know more as I find out. But for now, don't stop doing cool stuff because you're afraid of something that somebody wrote online. Just keep your ear to the ground. Keep watching me. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I know. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Safety first. See you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The Beginner's Guide to the 3D Printing Galaxy is here, now, for you. Buy it on Amazon.